Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the uh, image trace to grease pencil option. Very, very easy. There's a couple things you should know. Uh, it works best in uh, high contrast black and white images. And so let's go ahead and get started. Uh, I've opened up a new uh, grease pencil scene. Uh, I'm in object mode. I am going to just add an image that I just down downloaded off the internet. Uh, image reference. It's on my desktop. Uh, we'll do this lion. And there it is. It's just a black and white image. Again, the uh, trace image option works best with high contrast or black and white images. Uh, we'll do one. We'll do a color image in a minute. I just wanted to show you how this thing works before before we do that. So uh, once you have your image, you go to add image and then reference image, bring it in uh, and then have it selected. Have it selected, go to object and there it is. Trace image to grease pencil. Boom, we're done. Uh, and it already traced it uh, there. If you click on this uh, menu, or these this options uh, box it does give you some options to play around with the the thickness of the line I usually keep mine right at one uh, the resolution um, you play around with it until you like it usually around five is fine I'm gonna do five um, oh, five. the scale you can you can scale it here I'm just gonna keep it at one and the samples are like uh, how uh, the detail how much detail do you want it's almost like the resolution so I'm gonna keep it at zero to give to get as much uh, samples as I get and then the threshold is how much of the image do you pick up uh, for example, if I take this way up here, it'll pick up almost everything. Any little speck of uh, gray that it is, um, it'll pick it up. Or vice versa, if I go all the way down, it'll pick up almost nothing. Boom. So right in the middle, about 0 0.5, 0 0.4 works best. And then the turn policy, it always, uh, I just leave it at uh, the default. There are a couple little um, mistakes, and I'll, I'll show you how to fix those. And I'm not sure if everyone gets these, but I just get it, press G to open, I mean to move, and there it is, the, the traced image. I'm gonna move this out of the way. This is our image, this is the traced image, G. And then uh, you can see that by, obviously this is vector now, uh, grease pencil versus this one is still an image. Uh, to fix this, see this, this uh, spike, uh, the image doesn't have it. So all we have to do is go into edit mode, hit tab, uh, go into uh, vertex mode. And there's that one vertex, uh, delete it dissolve delete this one dissolve and that's it uh, maybe this one delete dissolve and then that's it and then there's some some obvious uh, ones that you might have to do a little bit more work on for example maybe this one at the top you might have to do a little bit more work grab these two hit delete dissolve and then you get this big old flat chunk uh, and then you can start moving these ver vertices around. Uh, G to move. And, and until you get it, uh, G, until you get that shape rounded off again. Not a big deal. Let's go ahead and do one that is in color. Let me start off a new 2D animation. Don't save. Zoom out. Go to object mode add image reference and I have it in my 
desktop. This little dog is in color. But you notice it's high contrast. It's going to pick up these lines, the dark brown lines. It may not pick up this pink and it may not pick up this gray. Uh, let's try it. Select it. Go to Object, Trace Image to Grease Pencil. And boom, there it is. And so if you want to play with the, uh, the settings, you can see what settings will work best for your image. Maybe there, uh, thickness of one. What if we take it to about there? Resolution seems to be fine, scale. I'm just gonna leave it. Uh, let's see what happens if I go further up. You can see that it picks up this gray tone and we don't want it. So we're gonna, I'm gonna leave it at 0.6 and hit G to move. There it is, guys. I'm going to move this out of the way. It will work on um, it will work on colored images. They just have to be high contrast so that the uh, tracing tracing option will um, pick up the darks versus the, the lights. And that is it. Hey guys, if you like the video, go ahead and uh, hit the like button and subscribe. And I will see you on the next one. Thank you.